Hello everybody, uh, my name is Travis and I'm going to teach you how to properly set up HealBot. Um, HealBot out of the box is completely garbage. Uh, to the left of me on the laptop I have HealBot straight from the box so I'm going to tell you how to set it up properly. Uh, this is my trial account over there, she's going to be helping me out today. So, Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is once you get HealBot installed, hit the options box. And uh, while I'm going through this, you can either go in game and listen step by step, and I'll tell you what to change, or you can watch the video alongside of it and pause where needed. Um, the first thing I did is I disabled the show mini map button and dis disabled the query talent data. Enable heal bot should be checked. Everything else on this page is good. You don't have to do anything else. On the bottom, you'll see the spells tab. Go ahead and skip that one for now. Uh, then go down to skins. On the skins tab, there's these red bubbles at the top that will go bar to bar from and, and change when needed. Um, frame anchor and bar anchor in the drop down box, change it to top left. The low mana indicator, I would recommend filling in the bubble that says also in combat and changing it to 15, 30, 45 percent. Your frame scale you're going to want to set at 1. And your refresh multiplier should be 8. For the background and border, you kind of want to clear opacity so it doesn't color your, your screen. Uh, what you do to do that is click background or border. You're going to want to kind of put it in the gray color scheme and then you want to just drag it up and down until you find something that looks good. So if you watch my background, there's about clear. So after you do that, hit OK. And then hit your healing tab, or I'm sorry, your healing red bubble at the top. And from there you want, if you want to include pets, you can include pets. Um, what I did is group, raid, main tanks, focus target, and my targets. If you want to do pets, you can do pets, but in my opinion that's left up to the hunter or warlock to take care of their pets. Uh, target bar should be checked here. And then include group, raid, and pets. It says pets in a group of five, but I don't have pets, so it's not going to show up. Um, this down here at the bottom, the alert level, needs to be set to 100%. The red bubble here that says raid should be all classes, and all bubbles should be filled in. Sort, main sort should be groups, sub sort should be roll. All the bubbles should be filled in underneath that except for my targets. And hide. I have high bars over 100 yards. If they're over 100 yards away from me, I don't want them on my heel bot. Um, then you can go to headers, and I believe headers is good. Uh, yeah, it should be good. It, you can customize it any way you want. Um, I don't have headers being shown, but if you want headers that say like group 1, group 2, you can have that, and you can change the texture of the bars and the height and all that. Um, next red bubble we're going to go to is bars. And on bars, this is kind of like a customization thing um, for how you want your bars to look, if you want them to have any design on it or anything like that. So you can mess around with the textures if you want. Um, but make sure you fill in the top bubble that says use groups per column, and you have number of groups per column as 1. Your height should be 29, your width should be around 132. Row spacer is 0, column spacer is 2, enabled opacity is 100%, incoming heals opacity I have set at 28%. Uh, I'll show you what that is a little bit later and you can decide whether you want to do it or not. Out of, over, out of range opacity is 38% and disabled opacity is 5%. Aggro bar size is 2, power bar size is 0. Then we're going to go to our icons bubble at the top <clears throat> and it actually looks like it's pretty good out of the box so we'll leave that there don't mess with that go to the aggro tab this is a pretty cool tab um, it's going to show you who has aggro uh, 
monitor aggro. You need to fill in this bubble here that says text and it has arrows pointing from either side. You want to click that. Um, the bar alert level drop box, change it to 2 high threat. Um, and that looks like it's going to be good there. From there we'll go to protection, should be fine, should be left alone, chat. I would leave chat to notify raid and notify for resurrection only. When you res somebody, it'll say in raid chat. If you don't have a raid chat, it'll say it in party. Um, but it will let it be known that you are resing and who you are resing. Um, bar text should be fine and icon text should be fine. Uh, now we're going to go to the cure portion of Healbot. Uh, you can change down here at the bottom is the color of the bars when somebody gets a debuff on them, like a curse, poison, magic, or disease. You can change it to whatever color you like. Um, up at the top here, smell, spells to remove debuffs. As a priest, I have cure disease and dispel magic, and you want it to check on the raid. If you're in a party, it'll check for party. Um, but that'll let you know, that lets Healbot knows what decursive aspects you have. And, uh then it will alert you if you can dispel it. You want to make sure that it's monitoring your remove debuffs and also in combat. Then we're going to go to the buffs portion. Uh, I would not monitor for buffs in combat, but you should monitor for missing buffs at the top. You can put buffs for yourself or for raid members in here. Power Ward Fortitude, Inner Fire, Shadow Protection. I have different bar colors. That's why my bars right now are blue. Um, all it takes is a simple left click, and I will buff. I will cycle through my buffs. I already had inner fire on, so it's already there. But, if I'm missing the buff, it will alert me that I'm missing a buff, or somebody in the ratings, so I need to go ahead and take care of that. That's the buffs portion of it. It's really cool. Um, tips. I went ahead and uh, disabled my tool tips, because I know my spells. If you don't know your spells, maybe you should leave that on. Um, other than that, should be left alone fine, and after you do all these things, your heal bot should look something like mine. Um, if you go back to your spell tabs, this is where you're going to be putting your spells in. Now, depending on how many buttons you have, is what you'll have to work with. I have 14 buttons, so I have spells all the way down to the 14th. But it gives you options like heal, flash heal, binding heal. I mean, I'm sorry, I mean like click, shift click, control click, and you just fill in there. If you want it to auto pop a trinket, you can have it auto pop here. I actually have my auto pop trinket for when I use my divine hymn, my first trinket, I want it to auto pop, so I check that box in. So if it's available, it's going to pop it when it starts casting it. Um, you can do when cast when released or pressed. I should actually have that on. No, I want that on released. Um, so you just go in here and you type in your spells. The spacing needs to be right and the capitalization needs to be right on it or else it's not going to work properly. So now that you have Healbot in here, and you have all your spells put in, this is what Healbot can do to help you. First of all, it's going to alert you when people are out of range. So, if somebody gets out of range, it's going to fail, it's going to fade on your Healbot. See that? She's faded. I can't heal her from here. I'm out of range. But now I can. Do you see how it faded back in? Can't heal. Can heal. That's my left click for my heal. My right click is my greater heal. My shift left click is flash heal. My middle click is renew. My shift middle click is power word shield. I'm in disc specs, so I gotta remember here. Uh, my shift right click is my penance. My shift, one of the bu many buttons on my mouse, is my leap of faith. Prayer of healing. These are all put on my on my bars, so I know I don't have to look at the buttons. I just have to remember memorize mouse clicks, and they're all right here. Um, I can show you what it's going to look like when you're in a raid. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to include a video of me healing, so you can see how it works. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and let her get aggro on something and get hurt by it so you can watch the health bar. All we got to do is find something that can attack them. There we go. 
Sorry, I'm trying to control two computers at once. Oh no, Healbot is when is in trouble. Left click, heal. Of course, you know, it's not going to really give justice, but it shows there the heal that was incoming. If somebody else is healing the target, it will still show that, and it will show about how much it should heal for. So you'll know when somebody's casting a heal, because it'll be faded, but it'll be filling in that spot. So that's as easy as that. Um, Healbot is great for healing. It's also great for other things, so I'm going to go ahead and switch tunes and show you where else Healbot can be effective. Um, from here, you're just going to have to kind of set up your spells the way you want it. I have my... I have so many different things on here that help me. Um, there's my pain suppression. There's my inner will. There's my bubble. And that's all with buttons. So, I'm going to go ahead now and switch tunes and I uh, will meet y'all back here in just a moment. Hey everybody, alright, let's see here, let me go ahead and invite. Got them in the group. As you can notice, it says they're out of range. Now they are in range and they are missing my buff, so I'll go ahead and do that. Now if you remember the where I said the arrows pointing towards text for aggro. Uh, I don't know if you noticed it or not, but pay attention um, this time and watch uh, how it's going to have those arrows by their name because they're going to have aggro. So, just a second, let me run over here and hit this thing, turn off attacks. Actually, it may not be set up properly on this tune. I'm sorry, I did re just reinstall everything here not too long ago. One second, let me check here. Actually, I think it should be tanking. Let, let's look, and I'll tell you to correct it if, if that is needed. Okay, well I'm not sure why the markers aren't working. That's a fail on my part for my video. Nevertheless, I was going to show you why Healbot is good for other specs and so I'm going to do it. I have Healbot set on my bars. I can't heal her if I'm going to show you that properly in a moment. Yeah, my apologies for this fail ass video. Okay, so talking now, when somebody gets aggro, I simply... There's the markers, I wonder why I wasn't working before. Anyways, all I have to do is simply shift left click their name and I'm going to taunt. Taunt it off of them. Now let me show you the difference with heal lot and without. Because that taunt, you have to target the person you want to taunt. So notice I don't have them targeted right now. I'm going to go ahead and let them get aggro. And then watch what I have to watch the process I have to go to. I'll have to click my taunt button wherever it is, and then I will have to click the person I want to taunt off of. It's a lot less effective than just the simple shift left click. You can use it to heal your pets if you are a hunter or warlock. You can do use it for all sorts of tools. Um, any spell you put under the spells tab will make it to where it reacts. I could put a mount here if I wanted to, um, but it's as simple as that. You just put in the spells you want. Um, my Righteous Defense there you saw I said was shift left click, shift left click, there it is. So as soon as I do it, bam, I taunt off. It's Healbot can be an amazing tool. It takes some tweaking. If you have any questions on how to um, get your healbot to do something or if you need help please shoot me an email uh, or I'm sorry a comment or a message on YouTube and uh, I will get back to you and see if I can't get you invent to help you out or anything like that um, it's a very effective tool I definitely couldn't heal like I heal 
if it wasn't for Healbot. Um, I get ridicule. Oh, you need an add-on to help you heal. Well, I guarantee I'm gonna out heal your ass if you're not using one. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to subscribe for other videos if you. All right, single target again. Is Jadian supposed to stack with the rest of us now, or is she still supposed to stand a little bit in front? No, she's going to stack with the rest of us. Alright, you're going to stack with us. Yeah. The super marker. Alright, uh, that'll take the first hit. Megan said that pretty looking marker. <laughs> Women. 